In this video on Logic's MIDI transform window, we're going to take a look at cleaning up a track recorded by a MIDI guitar controller. And guitar controllers are especially offensive about creating false notes. You sometimes get open strings, you get notes triggered by maybe harmonics, who knows what, they're outside of the register, they're locked into the register of where you're playing, all sorts of problems. But they can be cleaned up pretty easily. Let's go ahead and listen to this track real quick. Okay, you get the idea, especially offensive here and with this low E and some of these notes up here. So let's clean it up. MIDI transform window, command nine. I have a user preset I've created that says MIDI guitar and it's defaulting to the register of the guitar. So on my guitar, my lowest string comes in as an E1 and if I had a 24 fret guitar, it would be an E5. That would be the 24th fret on the first string. However, I think it'll be better served if you look at the register of your performance. So I have to know my lowest note is an A2. So let's go ahead and type that in. And my highest note is a C4. So let's go ahead and type that in and hit return. So I have those values. And the reason I wanna select in this method is because I have a long note down here. The next selection will be based on length. So let's go ahead and now select. And you can see I have my note here. I've got a little note right here and I've got a note up here all outside of the register of the performance. So by having my mode set to delete selected events and hit operate, now that I've proofed my notes, I can delete those and they're gone. Now let's go ahead and set this back to all and let's deal with length. And for this, you can go two directions. You can either go less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, depending on how you want to do this. I want to go ahead and do less than or equal to, and I want to find out what my shortest bad note is. And if I review all this, I'm gonna find out that this note over here, if I can zoom in properly, is, and we select this, is actually just over 200 ticks. So let's go ahead and select this to, we could even select it at a 16th note, but let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll go 210. So 0 .0 0.0.0.210. Now we have 210 ticks of a 16th note. So we could select only to proof this. We'll go ahead and zoom back out and see what it looks like. And sure enough, we've got all these guys and that's a bad zoom on Logic's part there. Let's try this again. And it's not gonna cooperate. Let's try it one last time here. There we got it. Okay, so we have our notes here. Let's go ahead and reselect since I've lost my selection. Thusly, you can see the selected. So we're probably okay with all these. Let's go ahead and operate. Again, we're going to delete selected events and we've cleaned it up. So let me go down here, select all and zoom to selection so you can see this and let's listen to the performance again. And voila, a far better performance. So if you happen to be a MIDI guitarist, perhaps a MIDI bass player or anyone who uses some kind of MIDI controller that generates false notes, consider these two techniques dealing with range, and length to quickly eliminate the notes you don't want in your performance. So that's all I'd like to cover at this time. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this gives you a tip or trick or two, and we'll catch you on the next one.